Hi, this is Bill at Machinery Consultants out here in Salt Lake City, Utah. We'd like to thank you for your time to preview. We're going to move this video along quickly. This is going to be a getting to the list 65D4T, serial number 150-560-64. This is our stock number 9898. It's currently wired 480 volts. It's a 48 by 96 table. It's delivering 86 inches cross line, 62 overt, and 86 longitudinal. It has a gazillion spindle speeds and feeds. That being said, it's a number 50 taper spindle. It's an NST or NMTB, depending upon which side of the Mississippi you're on. We're going to show you how it operates with the power drawbar unit. It's an air driven in and out for the number 50. Well, I'd like to introduce Mr. Frank, by the way. It's the clamping, it's the unclamping. This is a really cool feature. Keep in mind, this spindle travels in and out 25 full inches. Back up a little bit, right? Quiet. Perfect. Very quiet, very smooth. What you were witnessing there on your right, sorry. What you were witnessing there was basically their air driven power draw bar that's going to suck in and out this number 50 NMTB holder. Okay, let's rock it. Okay, what we're showing you here is a hardened way machine that has power rapid traverse as well as the fact that it has the independent outriggers. They'll sit on the left and the right hand side, right here. What RPM is that, Frankie? Uh, 790 RPM, as well as down right here. Again, here's another automatic oil lube pump. We're getting ready to start the new all digital readout. Here's the makings of the reader head that we've installed. I'm going to cheat and show you the ways. This is the bed ways here, a portion of the uh, draw slide. Tripod's giving me fits.
Five and a half minutes in, Frank. I think we're doing good. Okay. So in essence of time, what we're trying to do here is show you this fabulous machine. It's 20 horsepower, 480 volts, with the 48 by 96 table area. It's an absolutely amazing Giddings & Lewis, American-made, horizontal boring mill. Here's the books for the machine. Ah. Make sure that you ask us about the manuals on the machine. What's your name? What's your name? Frankie's over there having some fun with that air-driven air power draw bar. <laughs> it's number 50 NSD. Okay, we're treating this video as well as a uh, horizontal boring mill on the 65 D4T, serial number 150-560-64. Again, our stock number 9898. We're treating it as an inspection video to show off the, uh, the accessories that go with it. Again, these are standard items here, the outboard support. Yeah, thank you, Terminaco Nesta. Standard support brackets, the uh, outboard support brackets, they go underneath the machine on the left and the right. They can be put down into the ground or the machine could be raised up about an additional inch and a half. Yeah, I already tripped on that three times. Thanks, man. The first time was pretty good. Okay, moving right along. The piece de resistance. Stock number 9800, it's an airlift positive clamp with positive pin stops. I guess what we, what we do is we call that indexing with positive pin stops. Sorry, slow down a little bit. Graduated position scale. I've got Giddings and Lewis fever, you'll have to excuse me. I have an appetite for high quality American made machine tools. This is a 36 inch diameter rotary table. This also doubles as a wheel work for food sign. We have four T slots. The approximate weight on this machine, on um, this uh, table is about 2,500 pounds. 46 by 36 by nine and a half inches high. What we're saying here is it's a total of nine and a half inches from here to here, we're at nine and a half inches on the overall height. It's a heavy duty. Again, it's an air clamp. American made getting to Lewis. If you're wondering about the T-slots, they're approximately inch and three-quarter on the bottom, and they're approximately three-quarter inch on the top. That is listed on the quote. Three-quarter by inch and a half, inch and three-quarter on the bottom. Uh, standard common clamping size on that. Okay, moving along, piece of resistance number two. There's a 36, excuse me, a 26 inch, go ahead Frank, help me out. 24. 24 inch. You've been working here long. 24 inch diameter facing head. Getting to Lewis, American made. This is a continuous facing head. Heavy duty American made unit. It's about 350 pounds overall weight. Okay, has a four inch hole on the inside. Okay, we're gonna try to keep this into one file. So that being said, we're gonna cut it, cut it right there. Hey, thanks Frank, that was fantastic. Well, this is Billet Machinery Consultants. Until next time, be happy, be healthy, and have a great day. Thanks again for watching this movie. We're at 801-531-9500 or www.machineryconsultants.com. Thanks again.